Hey guys, I'm Adventure Andy. I'm playing more Toy Story. I mean, Disney's Extreme Skate Adventure with Woody from Toy Story. And this game is brought to you by GameAnyone.com. I like your screw up there. Thanks. Andy, I, like I need, I need to say the long. <laughs> you, you know, your catchphrase. <laughs> it reminds me of what you said earlier about Anton. That's <laughs> you. Oh, redo. <laughs> Oh, fucking cold. So, what are you doing in the game? Because we can't see it. I'm skateboarding. What else would I be doing? Oh, yeah. I'm actually playing a fun game. Oh, wait. So, besides no, that game looks awfully tedious. I don't like it. I don't like no. It's a pretty boring game. Oh, yeah. It's about a young man in his quest to make the best channel intro ever. Yeah, I know. I, there's some really kid with a lame voice. He sounds like he's freaking high or something. I couldn't understand what he's saying. He's like, I'm German I something something. I couldn't understand him. German I? German I? Yeah. I someone's stealing your identity him. there, buddy. <laughs> you like, just falling from no, stupid town? Like, someone asked me my uh, PSN name today. Well, Gemini DX, so I don't forget it. And someone was like, how do you spell that? I'm like, just think G Mini DX. He's like, got it. <laughs> <laughs> Do people call you G-Mini in your school, like, Hey, G-Mini! Hey, Gemini, what's up? You gonna sit in class today? No, sir. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if I walked around and people were calling me Gemini, the weird place. If people were calling me Gemini, I'd be happy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's not an actual name. I mean, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, usually when people call me Gemini, I my school. I kind of just deal with it. I don't know, I mean, if someone said Luigi, I'd probably turn. I remember when you said that, and I lost a little bit of respect for you. <laughs> hey, I've been called that for a long time, because I had a lot of weird Skype friends that only called me Paper Luigi. I know. It's kind of, it's kind of it's, strange. It's weird to hear Mr. Jesse say, call you, like, uh, call you Paper Luigi, and then he, like, he, he's trying to adjust, too, you can tell, because sometimes he, like, calls you right, I mean, Paper Luigi 232. Yeah. It was kind of awkward making the move from calling Tony Tony instead of Gemini DX. Like, I kept calling him Gemini and then Tony every now and again. And one time well, was like, are you gonna make up your mind? This <laughs> it's really simple. I Please mean, call me. I, I don't really, I don't really care. You can do it was a really hard jump for me to go from Adventure Andy to Andy. Whoa, yeah. Gemini! Please call me Tony. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Gemini, please, man, call me Tony. I think the, I think the hardest, the hardest change is from me calling you Chili on Pasta to. You yeah. didn't even get that. I, yeah, you weren't even around when the chili on the pasta was in existence. You were not in one of those Skype calls. One of those oh so butthurt Skype calls. Hey. <laughs> Good times with kind of prepubescent Gemster and really kind of annoying Andy. <laughs> oh, you Andy, I'm not gonna lie, but there was a time where I didn't like the adventure Andy. You didn't even you don't even know annoying adventure Andy. I'm not gonna lie. There was one time when some of the stuff you said really got to me. Like you and R. And a jerk! That really hurt me. <laughs> you haven't heard Prepubescent Andy yet? I haven't heard Prepubescent Richie and I really want to hear him. You've seen Big Chris. Actually, I You've don't have any thing. videos of me with my Prepubescent voice. Huh, I never Chris really had one. I had, I had this, I've had this voice since I was like nine years old. <laughs> <laughs> No, like in your Kirby thing, you're like, ah, I'm doing Kirby 64. Ah, ah. That's because I had a really dumb mic back then. <laughs> hey, way to blame it on the mic. <laughs> no, I am completely all serious. Have you, no, have you heard my Let's Plays back then? You could hear this one, like, really long line of, like, in the background. I'm, I'm doing Kirby 64, and I didn't know there was a, uh, a secret ending, so I, I just thought the. Wait, 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 wait. When did Richie join the Mafia? <laughs> Oh, you mean the Let's Play business? No, no. Back in the commentary business. Oh, best, best friend I ever had. We talked about on video games today in class. Oh yeah, you know you're cool when you're in gym next to you talking about Halo and 360. Well, um, no, I, I didn't know why I did a Kirby, Let's, Kirby 64. I just remember that game. I never knew there was a secret ending. I didn't really look into that game that much, so I was kind of like, oh, let's do a wing it Let's Play. Even though what do you think the shorts were for then? Like, I'm getting 100%, but I didn't think it was like, secret super weird boss with one eye. I did get that eventually, but I didn't get it then. His name is O2. And he's not super weird. I could never- Eating I, eyeballs. I remember, I got the, I rented that game, 
and like the guy who played it before me got all like 100%, and yeah. I deleted the file because I wanted to get through it on my own, and I regretted that decision until I was 10, and I learned how to look up walkthroughs. I only well, like. There were like a few of those shards I just plain couldn't figure out how to get, and they really pissed me off. That game was so freaking hard when I was a youngster, but the game is really easy now because uh, even if you don't know what power to use, like. A wall that you can break usually has like the colors of a combination you need to make. Like yeah, but like you remember the one that's like really up high, and you think that you just have to like um press air repeatedly when all you really have to do is use the like rock cutter the thing. hamster. Yeah, the hamster. Yeah, I know. I can never figure that out. I thought you had to use the owl, but I didn't. <laughs> I remember buying a turbo controller specifically so I could beat that. <laughs> I'm, sorry. I'm not kidding. I I went to the store. I'm like, yes, I can finally beat Kirby. I mean, I didn't play Kirby's Dream Land 3 at that time, I mean, so I didn't know there was a freaking hamster that can jump up walls, but okay. I actually stole that game from my aunt. <laughs> <laughs> she was gonna That's throw it out, and like, well, she wasn't looking, I put it in my pocket. Oh, I stole Sonic Mega Collection Plus from my grandpa. Why? I don't know, he never played it. I stole, um, uh, what was that game? Yeah, we all, we've all stolen a game in our life. You stole from your mom's purse. I think I stole um, Kirby's Amazing Mirror from my friend the other week. <laughs> I love Kirby's Amazing Mirror. I didn't play it. I also, oh yeah, I stole my game, his Game Boy Advance as well. From your mom's purse. <laughs> Why do you guys make fun of me so much? I'm not. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I just remembered a really funny story you told me earlier. Hey. <laughs> we don't go you better back. not. <laughs> you better not. <laughs> no. no! I can tell the story if you really want me to. Go ahead, tell the story. <laughs> okay, Tony. When I was like, when I was like six or seven, it was really. <laughs> I was in the shed because it was like a snowy, really snowing out, and it started blistering. So I went to my shed and I locked the door. And I thought there was like no way I could get out till like the next day. So I shit my pants. <laughs> like I say. You you couldn't get out. <laughs> no, and the first like. Like, um, the first thing I thought I had to do was, like, pee my pants. <laughs> like, might as well get this over with. Oh my god, wow, that's, uh... It's not really embarrassing, it's just sort of dumb. Whenever I hear it, I just think of it as it went down like this. Oh no, I'm locked in! <laughs> Richie, we gotta lock the door, are you in there? Uh... Yeah! I didn't, out, I didn't get out for another, like, three hours. <laughs> I know, but it just seems like it happened instantaneously in a very comedic What do you do for three hours? I mean, even kind of I, sad, like, chilling with my wet pants. I mean, if I was six in there, I'd probably, uh, I don't know, use my imagination to have some fun. Imagine. I don't really, I don't really remember. I was six. And then I used my imagination to play around, like when I was younger. I, I sharted. Like a huge. All I remember was like a huge like bucket fell on my head or something. I sharted in gym class or not gym class, art class. <laughs> I was just saying. <laughs> I was in an hour class where we were all in gym together at one year, and I just didn't about notice it. Peed, about the time you peed on the floor, Andy. No, no, hold on. I'm telling one one story at a time. Okay, so I was in um I was in art class and I really had to fart, and I wanted to show off to all my pals because you know we were the most mature kids around. And I was like forcing that thing. I wanted to get that thing out and make it loud. And it, <laughs> it, it was loud, all right. But uh, yeah, it didn't go so well. So I had to go to the nurse's office and get underwear. <laughs> <laughs> and I was in the fifth grade. I remember like one time when I was in gym, like in kindergarten, like one of the- I don't know why I still remember this, it's really kind of stupid, but uh, my teacher kept telling the kids not to poke people with the sharp ends of a paper clip, and I like, d like stabbed <laughs> someone with it, and they were like, ow, and I kept thinking for the whole day, he's like, oh, he's gonna tell, I'm in deep shit. <laughs> <laughs> Any minute now, he's just gonna tell Miss Dooley that I just freaking hit it- I am Miss Dooley also! Otherwise, everyone be quiet, please. We'll, we'll be quiet, don't worry. I promise. <laughs> no. Let me just get my singing voice ready. Me, 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 me. And there are horns having problems, that's great. <laughs> and Capture did not succeed. Let's try Whoa. it again. Let's give it another go! Well, try again! We'll think again. Oh, come on, it's just okay. Okay. Suburashi chin chin mono. Kintame no kame aru. Sore no oto saru bobo. Ie ninja ka imasu.